Hi, I'm back. I reviewed all the stuff that I just did and uh, took a look at the barriers that I still need to get through. And I have a theory for what I need to do. So since I determined that the color of the pool actually affects the visible color of the ion jets, um, basically there are two places I need to go. I want to go to the spot that's after the ambush hall, as I'm calling it. Um, two jets after it. I'm unable to observe that one in its natural color because it's after this jet. It's down this hallway. So I have to deactivate this one before I can get there. This is deactivated by yellow, I believe. So this is... Uh, whatever color that is. Um, that would be R1... G1, B2. Yeah, that's what it, that was like light blue, so that's what that added up to. With one yellow frog in the pool, the one beyond that looked kind of pinkish or light purple, so I think adding another green will deactivate it. But the other jet I want to get through... <sighs> Don't think I'm going to survive this, but maybe. Okay, I'm good. Uh, the other jet I want to get through is the one just past Zomgod. I can get there and observe it in its natural state, which I don't believe I've done before. So that is pure yellow. Okay, so I'll try two blue for that one. I think that's that's the way through there. Now, the Golem book described lizards and Zomgod and turtles. It didn't describe these urchin-looking things. I'm wondering if these are actually the turtles. It mentioned walking onto them. Yeah, there we go. And recovering their raw materials. There we go. That's how I get money. Okay, so stand on those when they're not rolling. I can get some tungsten and sell it to K4RL, or Carl. <laughs> I'll do that to get it out of my hand. Well, I guess I don't need to yet. I'll do that on my way up. So, I'm going to put... Into here. One yellow. And oops. One green. And I think that will allow me to get through. Yeah, let's deactivate those two. I think one of these. This one right here, I've never deactivated. No, no, no. No, I've deactivated all those. So I'm just going to need two blue to get through the other barrier pass to Zomgod, I think. So I'll sell this. Mr. Carl. And how much does blue cost? Ten. Good, it's cheap. Okay, so buy two blue. But while I'm here, I think I can get through all the barriers up this way. Yeah, so it seemed like everything worked as I expected it to uh, upon reviewing it. It's just that if you overflow the... Um, if you overflow the color by too much, it still stays off. Those are on again. Okay, I think this is impossible until I get through the Zomgod barrier. I probably need... Let's see, if this one is... Requires one yellow, so red one, green one to deactivate. I'm thinking there's a Scion Frog, probably, that I will probably get through this barrier coming up here. Uh, so let's see, cyan, and then... That would be cyan and yellow, then? Maybe? Uh, or cyan and magenta. Yeah, cyan magenta is what it's gonna be. Okay, so green. Drop. Blue. And blue. And that should let me through... This other one over here. Because that was pretty unambiguously pure yellow. I don't think there was any anything else in there. Yes, good, 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 good. Stay away from me, nasty exploding bats. Alright, so. Cyan frog? Cyan frog, perfect. Go away, bat, go away, bat, go away, bat. <laughs> uh, could it be? No, it couldn't be two cyan, right? I'm gonna put one in there and see what it does for me. 
I think I'm going to need cyan. It's going to be either cyan yellow or cyan magenta. I'm pretty sure. So put one here. And let's see. Let's think about this. I don't remember what color that was. I'll try... How much does the cyan frog cost? Cyan magenta was my theory, so let's probably go with that. Ten dollars. Okay, that's that's cheap. Uh, all right, magenta. Uh, get my money. I think I'm almost done with this puzzle. I'm pretty confident that like this is gonna be. Oops. Uh, this is gonna be the last one here. Take money, take card, buy magenta frog. I'm just not entirely confident that magenta is the correct color. It might be cyan yellow. Because if I go up here, I'm pretty certain that that first barrier after the ambush room to the right is not going to be removed by the cyan frog. Yeah, that needs a red. And I have two options for red. It would not be cyan red, because that's just red one, green one, blue one. And I've already tried that in the form of yellow blue, I think. Okay. So is that the color I need? This one's down, good. This one is still up, okay. So it's cyan yellow. Interesting. Is that even right? I mean, there's nowhere else for me to go, so it has to be, right? Yeah, I mean, cyan yellow, cyan magenta, and yellow magenta are the most... Have I tried yellow magenta? I might not have tried yellow magenta. No, I, uh... I have not tried yellow magenta. All right, well, I'm going to do cyan yellow. And if that doesn't work and I've somehow not tried cyan magenta... Well, no, of course I haven't tried uh, No, sorry. That's what I did. Yellow magenta. If this doesn't work, then I'll try this and see, see how it goes. Because, yeah, I've tried all of the other combinations that are available to me, I'm pretty sure. At least all of the ones that might produce the results I need. So let's see. It, it implied that I could... That if I put three frogs in, I would end up with the second and third, basically. So I put cyan in first to keep yellow, so I won't have to buy another yellow. I can just buy a magenta and stick it in and it'll replace the cyan, I think. I'm hoping I don't need to do that, though. Like, this is a particularly annoying case in here because you can't observe it in its natural state. So I can't deduce which one I would need for nothing. Okay, that was right. Good. Ah. This is the place. This is where I've been trying to go to. Ah, 26X. Okay. That was... I was wondering about this block thing. Okay, so I'm gonna have to... Oh boy, do I have to play a mini game here or something? This is a console video game machine. 26X. When it was released, it cost heaps of money, but now it's getting hard to find them even in second-hand shops. Insert. Actually, what if I just power it on without inserting anything? He pushed the power button, but nothing happens. Okay, insert. Block. Done. Power. Oh, I'm doing it with my mouse. Oh, no. Is this... Do I have to... Wait, hang on, hang on. Do I need to... Do I need to fight and do this at the same time? Uh, okay, I don't have my gun equipped. Left one... Oh no. Oh no. Uh... Uh, I can't be... I can't be playing this game and avoiding these and equipping my gun at the same time. Probably. Because I'm, I'm just dead. Okay, equip gun. 
<laughs> Whoa. Okay, that's gonna be a process. Right, I was carrying tungsten, which is why I didn't have that. Uh, what belt am I wearing? I'm wearing the star belt. I pressed one. It didn't work, though. Maybe... Does that not work if I'm not already carrying something? No, it does. Maybe I can't equip anything during that and I just have to dodge? Alright, well, at least it's not much of a hassle to get back there. Power. I can draw my gun during this game. Good. Good, okay. This is how you do it. This is crazy and actually pretty awesome. I like this. I like this a lot. This is very creative. Ah. No, 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 get the... Okay, got the... Got it. Mm -hmm. Right, I can be I can be aiming and doing this at the same time. Oh, multitasking. Oh, okay, I didn't have my gun drawn. The purple slimes appear to be much less of a threat than the others. I can't be <sighs> can't try to be accurate with my gun. I just got it. Gotta go. Alright, so if I can kill these last two, looks like I'll get a little bit of a reprieve here because these top ones are a little harder to hit. Yeah, see, so that's not. Ouch! Not gonna eh, hit anything. Okay! I think I've basically won. The rest should take care of itself, more or less. <laughs> this is super cool. Alright, get the last two. That doesn't seem to be adjusting the angle in the way I'm expecting it to. Why not? Okay, got that. Got it. Great! I'm in. Door open. Now where am I? So does this get me to the... Ah, formation. Mm -hmm. Does this get me to the banisher teleprompter? I see. Rack and wrestling connection. Okay. Take it so it gives me credit to put it back because I don't actually care about it. Nothing in there. Oh, hi! Talking to Ronald. Whoa, it's been a while. I'm Ronald, the guardian of the future. Guarding the future. I don't know what it means. I am worse than the scarecrow. I, I am worse than the scarecrow, and this isn't Oz. I have no brain, no heart, and worst, I am highly flammable. I can see you are fishing for answers. Very soon, this dream will end for us all. Ooh. My job is to tell you to go forward. Third time's the charm. I think what you need to do is activate the machine. You know, I'm not very mobile. I've never seen it. But I know it's there because I'm the guardian of the future. Okay. So third time's the charm, activating the machine. I would like to speak to Matilda and Carrie, who are in here somewhere. Yeah, okay, so machines to the south. How is this blocked off exactly? Oh, I've locked myself out. That was silly. I just want to explore my immediate environments with, in my... Bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> Sorry, lost the ability to talk. I want to explore my immediate environment before I move forward.
Because I remember, okay, this was the rubble that blocked it off. Okay, I do remember seeing this, this from the other side. Just wanted to double check. Okay, banish a teleprompter. Matilda and Carrie are supposedly in here somewhere? I don't see them. They're not on my map. So were they already banished? Because that was what Zardin said. He said they were ahead at the teleprompter. I guess I'm going to do it. Man, uh, look. Tune. Well, don't... Okay, well, I might have just broken that. Hopefully not. Banish. Well, here's a new place. Has the music of unreality. Someone is here. Is it Matilda? Is it Carrie? Texaco. It's a gas station. A ghost of someone I don't know. Can I open this door? I think I clicked it for a moment. There we go. Oh, it's Thorn! Oh, Thorn is here! Oh! Well, you might say that I don't plan on doing this for the rest of my life. Okay, yeah, that explains why he looks so much like Sawyer, but with different hair. Thorn is long dead, of course, but I was sent on ahead to wait. My brother's soul will eventually show up. I'm sure you've met him by now. He's always after more money than he needs. Money as an end, in and of itself. We all need money to live, but it really makes no sense to live for money. Bodily, we do things in life, but our soul does another. My brother thinks he's getting ahead, but eventually his soul is going to be earning minimum wage. That's when he shows up here. Then it begins. Do you believe in original sin? Matter antimatter re reactions? Hang around for a bit and you'll find out. <laughs> okay. Time cereal, health cereal, and love cereal. Cigarettes. Empty cigarette boxes, apparently. Huh. Oh. Okay. I found a way out, I think. This is going to take me to, yeah, Emily's place. Okay, so I have bi-directional travel to that place. Was I able to... No, 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 no. When I got the... When I got the Winchester out of the trunk, it said something about its alarm system is primed. I couldn't actually get in and use it then. So no, I, I couldn't have used that prematurely. This door is impossible to click. So I found Thorn. I'm banished to yet another dimension. Matilda and Carrie were nowhere to be found at the teleprompter, nor here so far. Is this another part of the interstate? Okay, that loops. That goes here and then loops. Is there any more to see here? Or is this it? Okay, there's more there. Just filling in all those spaces on my map to be sure. So this is probably gonna loop. Yeah. And this way? No. Okay, now it loops. So one more screen to the right of where Thorn is at his gas station. <laughs> so once again, recurring themes of this game. Gasoline and money.
Such interesting things to base your game story around. It almost feels like... <laughs> almost feels like the sort of thing you'd get if you used, like, a random theme generator or something. Is this... is this anything? I figured there'd be something on the ground there. The camera isn't... showing me... behind it. So that's probably not significant. Man, this is just a... a wasteland. There's nothing much here. So, I can get back, but I haven't really accomplished anything here other than talking to Thorn briefly. I could buy some cereal. What would I do with it? So it was love, health, and... What was the other one? Alright, that's the entirety of this place. Let me take a closer look around here. Cash register locked. Okay. What is that? Freezies. <laughs> I assume those are popsicles? I've never heard them called freezies before. Time. Time, health, and love. Okay, I'll buy some love. How about that? Sorry, that's not for sale. I didn't put that price on it. Sawyer! What do you mean, brother? It's for sale? Of course it's for sale. Everything is for sale. In fact, we'll be very happy to sell it to you, cowboy. You can't kill him, he's already dead. Welcome to Texaco. How may I help you? Is this Charles? Matilda. Hold it right there, partner. You! Get lost! I don't need your lectures. I've got a paying customer here. Oh, I see. Sure, sure. But can't an old lady get some gas? I've got a great big gas tank. Is this some kind of trick? Whoa! I didn't see what that said, but... Carrie just killed Sawyer, apparently. Sorry, this isn't quite as bad as it looks. Ha! Cowboy, listen up. Very quickly, a market imbalance is going to form in this level of purgatory. That should be enough to suck Mammon down here to straighten it out. Oh, I see. Okay. When he does, we're going to gang up and smash him. Clear? Uh, again, sorry about all this, but this is that is the plan. Here he comes. Store 742, Market US-1, is in disarray. This location will remain open at all times. Young person, good news, we have a job opening. Would you like to earn some money for college? Oh, boss fight! Uh, what do I do? Who's, oh, okay, what's, what's happening? Matilda's fighting him? Mammon is causing a market collapse. Okay. Uh, I hit him! Okay. Let's try... Oh, did that disable my... Did he steal my... Oh, no, I killed Matilda. Oh, no. Sorry. I can't seem to hit him with this. Okay, she's back. Good. Ow. My mom is calling an airstrike. Okay, so Carrie's all right. Matilda's all right. Uh, uh, he's throwing money at me. All right, she sits on him. All right, I need a, do I need a specific opportunity to get a good hit in on him? It seems like only a few of those are really counting. Or are they doing it? I don't know, most of my shots aren't landing. Do I have to aim? That one did. So Carrie's shooting him. I am not following why I'm sometimes hitting him and sometimes not. Like, I can't just do that. Is he... I want to Winchester him. Did that do anything? <clears throat> uh, can I burn him with the, uh, with this? 
Like I can I can burn the oil, I think. I can zap him, he does that, that's no good. Ow, 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 get away, get away, get away. Alright, I'm just gonna hang back for a moment. Uh, other weapons. I have the Henry rifle. Can I use it on him? I only have one bullet left. Might as well try it here. Ah, oh, I missed! Man, maybe I'm aiming too high. I think I'm aiming too high. Oh! Oh! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> this game is very confusing sometimes. I don't understand how to consistently cause this thing damage. Like, maybe one shot in ten is actually doing something? It's like he's sometimes vulnerable, but sometimes not. Okay, when, when Matilda's holding him down, he is. Matilda's down. When? What what causes it? What what changes things? <laughs> Alright, when Matilda holds him down. Okay, okay, great. <laughs> When Matilda's holding him down, I want to... Oh, she's... He's, he's carrying her. I want to Winchester him. Ah! Ah! Okay, get me... Get me out of here, please. Okay, hold him down, Matilda. Yes, Winchester. I don't know if I got him. Alright, well, this is... This is working slowly, so I'm just going to keep doing it. I'll try one of these. Did no damage to him, blew Matilda up into the sky. Okay, let's not do that. Still not following when he's vulnerable and when he's not. Just doesn't... I, I don't get it. Right then, he definitely is. Okay, so while he's being held down, get him. Get him good. So airstrike just delays me for a while. It doesn't actually hurt me. So what's Carrie doing in this battle? She's shooting at him. Okay, he's almost down. Just like one more hit. dropped something. Well, that was really something. What's that? Odd. This is all that's left. It's a coupon for a $10 haircut. Listen, cowboy. If it really does turn out that we've put this baby to bed, this place won't remain intact for very long. But don't worry. Reality has a way of pushing things back to where they ought to be. It's sort of like a space-time law of least resistance. Uh, Maddie, look at the sky. Uh, sky's falling. There's something about the summer sky in Texas. It's perfect. You hear voices outside the room. He must be around here somewhere. Has any, anybody checked the ballroom? Ah, there you are. Good news, chap. We're rescued. In short, the radio started working. The police are already here. 
We've been looking for you to make sure you were alright. Ah, you must be our lost American. Are you alright? My name is Officer Arlen, this is Officer Granite. It sounds like you've all had something of an adventure being stuck here. We're sending a team in to investigate, make sure this can't happen again. Apart from your distress call, there were no unusual reports, however. The gate is open, so of course you're welcome to leave, and we'll understand if you need to. But otherwise, you're also welcome to stay as long as you can. You've hardly had a proper vacation. So that's everyone then, safe and sound? Yes, everyone is accounted for. We may have a few questions for you later, so please leave your name with one of the staff. If we need to, we'll contact you back when you're, when you're back in America. Thank you, and please enjoy the rest of your stay. I've got to see some things. Please make yourself at home. The blue portal reappeared. Wow, okay, so is that... Is this all? Let's go back in here. Sawyer. Oh, it's you. I wondered if I might find you here. I need to thank you for bringing me back to my senses. I'm still trying to understand what happened. It's time for me to return home. The other townspeople will gradually wake up and remember. Charles has already left. I need to return to my own place and time and finish living my life. I wonder what I'll do with my life. Not farming. Maybe I'll take up poetry? Okay, well, whatever. You should get back to your life, too. Sawyer has disappeared through the blue portal. Okay, is this... I think I won, but there's like some post-game stuff going on here. Do I need to talk to everybody and get them through the portal? Hang on, I want to go back. So, let me talk to the hotel staff a little bit. There's somebody here. Granite. Officer Granite. Police written backward. I'm here with my partner, Officer Arlen. We've had a distress... We received a distress call about a half hour ago. It looks like everything checks out. She's a good partner. But she hums in her sleep. You should check it, check it out sometime when she's sleeping. She just sort of hums this odd tune. Huh. Okay, well... Um, what I'm going to do here is keep playing for now. If there's enough to fill another episode, then I'll split it. If not, then I'll just keep going and finish this up. So we'll see. Uh, so either bye now and I'll see you later, or this continues.